All right, guys, uh, Sarah Kazak with the MacGuffin. I'm here at South by Southwest with Maggie Grace, who's here for We'll Never Have Paris. Yeah. Uh, Premiering right. today at South by. And uh, talk a little bit about your character. You play. Uh, Kelsey. I do. The beautiful model. <laughs> She's not a model. <laughs> she works at a floral shop. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, I think, you know, in, in sort of blowing this whole thing up in his mind, yeah. he's like, She's like a model. She's like really freaking tall. Yeah. So she might as well be. Yeah. Um, she she maybe did like, you know, like a friend's catalog or something once. Yeah. To the extent of her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you play with his heart a little. No, she's actually not. You know, I mean, the character was so much fun. Cause she's yeah. Really a departure for me because, you know, she's she's not the sharpest tool in the okay. shed. The brightest bulb. Yeah. In the yeah. Light bulb selection. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, she. Um, She's not conniving. She's not a homewrecker. She's not, like, out to steal someone's man so, at all. Okay. She just, you know, as we all do, I think when you have feelings for someone, you you think that you, you're going to be great for them. Yeah. You know, and maybe ruin their lives in the process. You know? <laughs> like, then I, I know how that is. the domino yes. effect yes. ruins his life. Yes. But, but yeah. I think, and I've never actually, I'm, I'm not saying that I have done that. I don't think I have. But... But I do know the feeling of like, of course, we're right for each other because if you feel that much for someone, then then yeah. surely, you know. Hey, do you have stalkers that maybe feel that same way? Like, <laughs> what? Oh, God. Maggie, we'd be perfect together. Oh, that's really creepy. I don't know. Um, no, <laughs> not yet. Anyways, no, no cancel, nobody cancel, will. cancel. <laughs> No soccer. <laughs> but, I mean, this is a pretty much a story for all of us, you know, average people. As uh, Simon says, it's a story for the neurotics, the overthinkers, the clumsy, the tempted, the tempters, and the clueless romantics. This isn't, oh, that's great. Yeah, it isn't like, you know, our typical romantic comedy. It's true. It's it's not sort of about these, these grand sweeping... I mean, the title says it all, right? Yeah. I think Hollywood's kind of conned everybody yes. with this, like, don't speak, darling, we'll always have Paris. Yes. You know, yeah. and like life's not like that. Love's not like that. Like things are awkward. Is there a you know? specific film or story that you always thought your life was going to be like, or you know, a um, favorite romantic film? Well, I think you know the thing about the disservice we've done love, mm -hmm. like Hollywood, yes, in general, yeah. It's always like I, I call it wartime romance because for me it's all those movies where it's like, you know, like Romeo and Juliet die for a reason, mm -hmm. right? There has to be an obstacle or else yeah. it's more exciting. Yeah. And you know, so in life, I think, um, you know, there's there's always stakes in the beginning, and then I think as a culture we're dealing with like, what does it look like to be in love with someone over a longer period of time and have to balance like intimacy and eroticism and like. How do you pull apart and come back together and have distance right. and closeness and all that stuff? That's like, that's a high pay grade yeah. emotional jujitsu happening. Like, Valentine's there. Day is rough. If well, Valentine's yeah, Day is yeah. bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. You know, it, uh, us girls like to punish punish ourselves. You know, I was watching Pride and Prejudice that day. Which like, one? The 1996 no, BBC the newer version? one with Kira Knightley. Okay, good for them. But the 1996 version <laughs> the is BBC, like six like, hours yeah, long. Yeah, and it also stars Colin Firth. Colin Firth, the best Darcy thought, ever. But I like Matthew McFadden, so he's he, lovely. I don't mean to like. <laughs> he is watching. Matthew did a lovely job. I'm not undermining the job you did. You're just young. Yeah, very young. And Colin Firth was a little bit older. I know. And I'm not, yeah. he just had this, like, incredible restrained power that, you know, I think experience and age inherently, like, yeah. the essence was different there. Yeah. And with Darcy, it's what he's holding back. Yeah. You know, what yeah. he's not saying, what we don't read, yeah. the scenes that aren't in the Austin book <laughs> that we all fill in. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean... What's what's next for you? I mean, other than we'll never have Paris. I mean, you got any big, big ones coming out? <laughs> uh, yes, um, I have another. Actually, another Jason Ritter film. Okay. Um, uh, we did two movies in a row last summer, which was really fun. Oh, awesome. Uh, called About Alex, and then um, we're starting Taken Three, so that's exciting. Oh wow! And uh, where are you going and with Taken and Three? A television show as well. Um, you know, I'm not at liberty to say, oh, okay. but some some you know. <laughs> 
Let's just say there will be some ass kicking, as okay. one can imagine. <laughs> you know, don't mess with Liam. Okay, well, so what was the t- television that's coming up for you? I mean, I mean, I, I probably we don't have a title. Oh, okay. I'm just very excited about it. Yeah. Um, but yes, return to TV from Lost. Yeah, it's, you know, I mean, it's been talk about fear of commitment. Yeah. Like I don't know how I'm gonna commit to a man. <laughs> When it's been this long to commit to, you know, yeah. a television Tell contract. I've been, you yeah. know, hopping from film to film. To yeah. Traveling and, you know, it's, it's, I'm ready for it. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm really excited, you know, when you really trust trust the writing yeah you know you're working to tell a story over a longer period of time yeah but yeah okay awesome well thank you maggie so much yeah thank you can't stop me i'm a fire tonight the board can't stop me i'm a fire tonight